All right, guys and gals, I also get asked a lot about cylinders and how you can identify the cylinder and what saw do I have and that type of thing. Well, short of taking the saw apart and putting a, a, a set of mics and calipers in the bore to make sure if you can't figure it out any other way, and that's, that's the ultimate perfect way or best way to find out. But there's some curious telltale signs or quick telltale signs. If you're out in the field and you grab a saw, you're like, hey, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm not sure what it's worth, you know, uh, here's a few hints I'm going to show you about cylinders to tell you uh, what it is. And if they're in the saw and got the serial number on it and all that, it's not a big deal. But if not, and you're working blind, here's a way to tell. Or you're going through somebody's parts box of old junk stuff and you see these things and they're already been disassembled. Here's a good way, a good rule of thumb to give you an idea of what you're working with. All right, first and foremost, mounts. SP series, they got the one hole bottom mount in the crankcase right there. See that? One hole right there. That is looking at it from that's the bottom of the saw that's actually up. 1010 Pro Mac series stuff. That's where the handlebar clamps on. Y'all seen it right there like that. That's a quick down and dirty way to tell about <clears throat> how big the cylinder is. Next thing is compression switches. Y'all know that's a compression switch. I think this is a 70cc cylinder. I haven't looked at it close. It's used and it might clean up. But that's a compression switch. <clears throat> okay. Also, look at the intake. This spot here, there's no hole. So that is not a, a, a Super Pro cylinder. That is a Pro Max 700, most likely, or it could be a, uh, a 55, Pro Max 55. It could be a uh, 1010S, Pro Max 555, something in that nature. Another telltale sign that it's a 700, though, is the exhaust port. See the exhaust port there? That rascal is open. Most 10 series saw, including the 55s, 10Ss, and all that, the exhaust port, looks like that now this one's actually not even recessed this is an old old cylinder but you see the two holes they will have those the 10 the pro mac 1010s and the 1010s's and the 55s and the 555s and the pm 60s and all those i think the, don't quote me on that i think the 60s have them have the this where the gasket sits in instead of being open like these these are getting into your 700 series this is uh, our pro mac 700 cylinder i say pro mac because it's, it's not a uh an older one, a 710 cylinder, because it has electronic condition mounts. We talked about two holes there, a vertically electronic condition. You got three holes to match your coil. Talked about that. All right. So moving on, we were talking about exhaust ports. All right. You see the difference in the exhaust port size of these. It's hard to see. I'm trying to hold it up and see. See the gasket area? You see where the gasket area is that size on that one? And see how much bigger the gasket area is in here? This is an 82cc cylinder. I know this because it's been sent to U.S. chrome and nickel sided. Okay? This is for a, a PM800, Double Eagle 80, Pro Mac 805, uh, those cylinders because it has the decomp switch. Uh, right there that comes out the sides this is the top of the saw you also see hole for the impulse nipple uh, like i told you the 700 series and the 55s and all that don't have it there's nothing there so you got that so this this is an 82 and it's been redone it's nice you look at the thing it's beautiful uh, i'm gonna build a saw though but yes it doesn't have the impulse nipple in it now this one normally these are marked this one's been sandblasted probably off but i know what it is it's, it's set up for an a piston okay now this if it were a mystery jug, I'm going to tell you how to solve it. <clears throat> okay, you come across this, laying in a box of parts. It ain't mounted to a saw. You're looking at this. You go, huh, I wonder what that is. All right, well, a couple things. Impulse nipple. That's your impulse nipple. You got your anti-vibe boot that sits up here on top of the intake. And between this, there's a little rubber boot that sits there with some, some sealer-type metal gaskets and spring that seals to the tank. There's a rubber line that runs from here to the tank. Impulse line. For the carburetor, obviously. 
So interesting. So now we roll it over and go, okay, well, it's not an SP70 because it has the big gasket area. Huh, maybe it's an 81. No, it's not an SP80 or an 81 because it has the electronic mount, the three hole ignition mount for the coil. All right, so decomp switch is coming out the back. It's not coming out the top like this one does. So, okay, it's not an 800 series. So this has to be, has to be for a Pro Mac 850. I'm assuming this is a new cylinder. I haven't tore it apart to look at it, but there's one other thing I want to show you. See, see that right there? See where that says A? And they can stamp them. I've seen them stamp back here. I've seen them stamped up here on top of the cylinder. They stamped the cylinders. There were three sizes of piston used in these cylinders, A, B, or C. If the cylinder is not stamped A, B, or C, if it's unmarked, it is a B cylinder. A lot of people don't know that, but if they did not, for some reason, they did not mark all the Bs. If it's a B or it's an unmarked cylinder, it takes a B piston. But anyway, that's some of the ways you can identify. So we, we now know that this is an 850. Muffler mounts here, too, are a little different. Uh, but this is a PM850 cylinder and crankcase. New old stock. A cylinder and crankcase. There's the A right there. Okay, this... Is actually an A2, but it's been cut off of there. You can't see it uh, like you used to. There's not there anymore. It was, it was cleaned up and taken off of there. This is for electronic ignition. See, it only has two. It doesn't even have the third one. And on the, the later cylinders, they didn't even bother to put the mount for the point style coil on there because they figured, why would anybody want to use it? But the compression switch comes out the side on this cylinder where it comes out the back on the 81s, the 80s, and the 850s, and like the PM55s, and the, the, uh, the 1010Ss, and all that, and the 700s, the compression switch comes out the back. On this cylinder, it comes out the top side. So anyway, there you go. That is how you identify your cylinders without taking them in half. One other thing, 8200 cylinders. They go look very much similar to this cylinder I got right here in my hand, okay? See the big exhaust opening like I was telling you about earlier? Intake side, the impulse nipple is openings there, but the impulse nipple was removed when it was nickel sided up at US Chrome. Same way with the compression switch, it's all there. Here is something, <clears throat> okay. These are your four bolt holes. If you look inside the crankcase, you see those four holes right there? Those are the four holes that those bolts go into. A lot of talk, they got O-rings that go around the head of them in the oil reservoir crankcase side. And I would suggest sealing them up with just a little bit of, uh, I use dirt coat, a lot of people use different stuff. But difference between an 8200 cylinder and a PM800 cylinder is there will only be on the outside, there's four bolt holes. It's eight bolt holes, bolts total. Four in the crankcase. Then you got these ones. You can see the hole right there. The hole there. There's one under the impulse nipple. Uh, hole there. And I say that to look. We're looking from the wrong side. See the bolts there. One, two, three, four holes. Four holes. PM8200 cylinder has a bolt and a bolt. Six bolts total instead of eight. Two on the outside. So there will only be one bolt here and one bolt here. That's where it is on the outside. So anyway, I know that's a lot of information. I hope you all enjoyed the video.